welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer interview. We're here at Origins Game Fair in Columbus, Ohio. I'm Callie Wright and I'm here with Allie. Hi guys. <laughs> From Bezier Games. So how's the con going? The con has been super awesome. We are so happy to be here. We're showcasing Werewords since we're up for the SDJ next month for Game of the Year. We're super excited for that. So with that nomination, we've been showcasing this. It's got great reception. And then we're also showing Silver. That's going to be our Gen Con release. But we're demoing it and it's been getting great reception here. It's kind of like if you play the traditional card game of golf or Cabo, it's going to incorporate those kind of me mechanics uh, and incorporate all these crazy abilities to make it a lot meatier for you and for your gamer. Um, you want to come over here? We can check it out. We yeah. Try. We love uh, Bezier games. We love all the werewolf games. And we were playing Cabo just Don't at the bar us, the other we're night. You can take a look at what you're doing here. All right. So, so this is silver. Yes, this is silver. So you can see it's got a really cool kind of Pixar style artwork. All of these characters, they're 0 to 13, they all have unique abilities, and everyone is battling trying to get to the lowest score possible, because the number in the corner is the number of werewolves that will be attacking your village. So the fewer the better. Awesome, so this will be out uh, at Gen Con. Yes, yeah, so this is Gen Con. It's actually the pilot of a new series. So the next deck will be coming out at Essen, and then we'll probably be having a couple more coming out in 2020. So we're super excited. Everyone's really been loving it. And when you get all those decks, they're standalone games, but you'll be able to mix and match your favorite abilities from each deck. As long as you're playing with cards 0 to 13, it'll be completely balanced for you. Awesome, exciting to see you guys do another world because I know the, the werewolf wor world is so big and intense. You have a lot of games for it now. Exactly, and it's cool because this is incorporating a lot of those fun, familiar characters from those games that everyone knows and loves, but it's not social deduction. It's a totally different kind of game, more of a hand management kind of play, and it's going to give you a totally different feel. Um, we actually have these QR codes, so if you come by the booth, you can go straight to our pre-order and pre-order now, and you'll be the first to have it. And where can they go to pre-order? BezierGames.com. Awesome. Uh, anything else you wanted to show us? Uh, no, just come on by. We're booth 639. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Allie. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer interview here at Origins Game Fair in Columbus, Ohio. I'm Callie Wright here with Hunter from Pandasaurus Games. Hello, Hunter. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. How's Origins going for you guys? Uh, it's going well. we are uh, got a couple new releases and things are selling pretty well. We've got, we got a full booth pretty much all the time. I keep trying to get you guys on tables and I'm like, ah, I'll point at stuff. Up I, far. My guys are doing great though. I know. We want to see the game. So tell us, what are you guys most excited to share at Origins? Oh no, I can't I can't say most, but all four of these games are equally uh, excited. No, but I, uh, this is one of our new releases. We've got Dead Man's Cabal by Daniel Newman. Uh, it's a uh, two to four player action selection game. Sorry. Uh, it, we got demos going too, so we'll just be interrupting stuff. But uh, two four player action selection uh, where you're trying to resurrect people from the dead. They're on cards. Your necromancer's trying to throw a party, <laughs> and no one wants to come to your party, Aww. so you have to raise people from the dead to come to your party. Uh, you like do that. I raise you from the dead. You got to come to my party. Exactly. They owe you at that point, <laughs> and or are mentally enslaved to you because you're a necromancer. Uh, so you you have different colored uh, skulls. You start with uh, four different colors of skulls and two of these uh, character cards. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to make the uh, designs of those skulls on the board. And by do you do that via a few different actions. So like in this case, for, to, to resurrect this person, you need two black skulls, a red skull, and a white skull. And they need to connect by lines on the board directly. Uh, you do that a few different ways. Uh, the ultimate gist of the game is that every round you're going to draw a new skull from the bag. You're going to put it on this uh, ossuary tracker over here and kind of displace the skulls. Whatever comes off the end is the one you get. And then you take a skull from your hand and you discard it and use that ability. Each skull is corresponding with a different room's ability. So like the red skull goes to the sepulcher, it lets you get more skulls. Uh, if you don't have the right skulls to get, the gold skull lets you get more uh, character cards so people are raised from the dead. Uh, if you don't have the right ones or if you just ran out of people, uh, you gotta get more bodies. Uh, the white skull lets you get little, uh, uh, little Ritual tokens that essentially go on your characters. They're little bonuses, give you in-game victory points. And the black skull is really important because the black skull lets you play cards on the or play skulls on the pentagram, the sanctum area, and that's where you actually play skulls, make the patterns, and score the points from these. Awesome! I love it. A lot of strategy. It looks like a lot of uh, patterns and all. Of yeah, a lot, a lot of interlocking stuff. The cool thing is that every turn you you do, like if you do, after you've done your action. You'll look at the board over here, this little grid of, skel uh, grid of skeletons, grid of skulls, <laughs> close enough. Whatever the majority skull is on that on that little pattern, 
everyone gets to take that ad, that action. So uh, in this case, the gold skulls have the most there. So everyone at the table is going to get take the gold action. So every turn, everyone's doing something. You never have to sit there and wait like 30 minutes for your turn to come back around. It takes so it takes about an hour. It speeds up the game quite a bit. Awesome, I love it. So what else are you sharing at Origin? Yeah, so we've got a, a Heil. There's actually a table open over here. Let's go ahead and okay. jump on that. Uh, this is a game of Portuguese street parties. So we're into parties, some with the undead, yeah. some with uh, Portugal. <laughs> uh, so in a Heil, uh, you're trying to make a party, and uh, you're doing that with these different blo shaped blocks. Uh, so you'll have a stack of them here. They load onto this little uh, spinner in the middle, and the cool thing is the way that they're oriented towards your, your board is how they're going to drop onto your board. So like this red piece, if I'm playing over here, it drops like this towards me. Towards them, it's dropping like that and like that and that. So awesome. I like that. That's it, cool. And then you can, I'm guessing at some point you can spin Exactly. It and th there's only two actions in the game. It's spinning this 90 degrees or dropping a piece. Okay. You have to drop at least one piece a turn. But other than that, you can drop multiple pieces or however you want to do. You get three actions. So I could, like, drop a piece, spin it, and drop another piece. But So, like, for example, in this case, I'm going to do – I'll do this. I'll turn it. I'll drop this piece. And see, it's, it's aimed like that. It drops like this onto my board. And then uh, we'll take, let's take this red piece. And that drops like that. So we'll make it drop there. And then you can move it any Exactly, way. you can slide okay, it back okay. and forth. Now when you match colors to colors, that means you get a meeple of that color. And if you have the biggest section of that color, which in this case we would, we get the double meeple, it's little dancing meeples. It's really cute. Dancing. So if I keep adding red to that section, it's not gonna, add more individuals but it'll kind of reinforce the double because this could be stolen sure you from keep you keep the double exactly okay. yeah and the other thing you can do is if you uh fill in a row if you actually get like an entire row at the bottom filled in or any row at any point uh you will get a little extra meeple a bonus meeple bonus that goes meeple. here it's yeah and they haven't joined your party yet this okay. will bounce up one space but if you build your puzzle too high at the end of the round this drops a couple of squares if it hits your puzzle, it goes away. You don't get to score them. You, oh, the no. one. But if they don't, they'll join your party. And there's bonus points. Whoever has the most people's in their party at the end of the game have the best party and they win. Awesome. Simple. Uh, seems like really fun kind of puzzle yes. puzzle game as well. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's super It's super fun and light. It take, doesn't take too long. It's the designers of uh, Madeira and Nippon who do generally like really heavy Euro games. But in okay. this one, they're like, no, let's do a cool little quick puzzle game it's really cute awesome so two games that are different in theme and a little bit different in feel but have some of the same panda swords kind of spirit yeah, we, we try to make it we try to make a variety of different types of games we don't want to make it like all party all euro all anything so this is a good good mix of games you, if you like th this type of game this tetrahedron polyomino thing you, you're gonna really like it if you like the euro games you're gonna like that one Awesome. So if people are interested in these games, where can they go to find out more, maybe purchase them? Yeah, so you can check out pandasourcegames.com. Uh, we actually are doing a big revamp of the website, so uh, that'll be updated really soon. You'll have a new web store and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Ohio will be out a little bit later this month at retail, and Dead Man's Call a little bit later this summer. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Hunter. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer origins game fair interview i'm here with floyd lou from bnb games if you can if we can find him in there we're going we're coming up from on from the deeps underwater and hello oh, that was it's very hot in here <laughs> all right well i'll let you take that off here i'm callie wright from unfiltered gamer here at the bnb games uh booth here so what are you sharing with us here today at origin so now i have the refuge it's a nautical adventure board game it's combo driven and it's very cool it's got this big kraken head that can devour you and steampunk gorgeous divers with gorgeous miniatures um, awesome how, how many uh players and what kind of kind of gameplay can we expect it's a one to six player board game and you can expect really fun gameplay. <laughs> That's very vague, but uh, what it is, is uh, it's a three-in-one game. There's a solo mode, there's a race, there's a co-op mode. So there's a little bit of everything in there for everyone. Awesome, I see you got some really cool miniatures here. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yeah, so this was actually uh, designed by uh, David Whitaker, who is a Lord of the Rings uh, sculptor. And Tom Lishman, 
uh, who did the steampunk divers. And Tom Lishman is a famous uh, sculptor who's uh, designed um, games like Dark Souls too. Uh, but, you know, really cool, uh, seven artists work on this uh, game. And wow. we, we worked on the backstory weeks before we actually released it out to all the artists as well. Awesome, so this game isn't out yet. Can you tell me if people are interested, where should they go? How should they find out more about it? Yeah, so on Kickstarter, uh, you can go on Kickstarter and look for The Refuge, Terror from the Deep, or just type in Refuge. And it Refuge is one of those uh, games in there that you can see, and it's, uh, it's really cool. It's at $50,000 right now. Uh, Wait, are you guys fully funded already? Or? Yeah, we, we fully funded in 16 Congrats. hours. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. And we're trending towards $100,000 to $130,000. So uh, maybe you could give us, if somebody likes this type of game or this game, they might like this one as well. Yeah, if, if you like games like, per se, Onitama or co really combo-driven games, uh, this kind of like steampunk uh, nautical divers in an Onitama universe <laughs> kind of would be a little bit different but um, yeah it's um, there's not that many nautical games out there so um, having like a few especially with cool miniatures would definitely be awesome to have. Yeah, I think anyone who's interested in the miniatures and like you said, combo kind of games should check it out on Kickstarter right now. Uh, thank you so much, Floyd, for sharing about the game. Anything else you want to say out to our audience? Um, yeah, do not try that diving helmet at home. <laughs> well, thank you for trying it here with us today. This is Callie Wright from Unfiltered Gamer at Origin. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer interview here at Origins Game Fair. I'm Callie here with Daniel Zayas from Longpad Games. <laughs> you okay? Hi everybody. Hello, how's it going here at the con, Daniel? It's going well. We're having a lot of meetings with publishers. It's, it's very fun. We're getting, helping people make fun things. What, what, what do you like about it? Awesome. So tell us a little bit about what you do here at Longpack and what you're sharing at Origins. Yeah, I'm uh, the U.S. sales manager for Longpack Games, so I help with all of the client management of U.S. and English-speaking clients, right? And we make a lot of really cool projects and help publishers um, in the manufacturing side with engineering or with uh, artwork or miniature design. Um, and then we make the physical products for them. Awesome, I love how you don't just focus on creating whatever they want to create, is you right. problem solve with them to create the best product and make sure that the client is really happy with it. Yeah, we, this is a collaborative effort. Everything in, everything in tabletop gaming wouldn't exist without some level of collaboration. So it's, yeah, that's what we do. Awesome. Well, show us a little bit about what yeah. you guys have done recently that you're showing off here. Yeah, recently we made Planet, and Planet's really cool. This was an engineering feat, honestly. It was um, <laughs> very, very cool. Um, this, these are like two halves that are psionically welded, and you have uh, the stainless steel um, that will attach to these magnets here. Um, the gameplay is very simple. You're actually just creating this map um, in turn, and you, and you have everyone will have their own planet, but you're building in such a way that it will be habitable for these animals based on various criteria. But it's actually a very simple uh, game to play and it's actually really fun. Um, it's really fun, it's awesome, yeah. it, and actually the the simplicity of the pieces really helped the game. I'm glad right. you were able to make right. it happen that way. Yes, yes, and that was a very, very um, uh, long collaborative effort that was uh, with Blue Orange and um, yeah, we're very happy to have made that, that and it's doing really well for them. So um, we're happy to have assisted in our way, right? Um, this one's a child's game, uh, Wake Up Stars, and it has like this uh, neat foam uh, uh, components. Oh, they're squishy, yeah. Yeah, squishy components. And this one's really cute. You'll, you'll essentially uh, flick this uh, here and it'll be pick up a star and then you're gonna show the star. And it's, again, it's for kids, but you're gonna tell a story about what, how this makes you feel, right? So it's a very, very, um, adorable and cute game for children. So it's kind of a social emotional game. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 
Uh, oh yeah, then we got move in, we got move the in, move the big guys, the the Spiel nominees, right? <laughs> so King Domino won the Spiel des Jahres, the Game of the Year award, um, I think two years ago, and then Just One is up for nomination this year. We're very hopeful it wins, and if it does, then we're going to make a lot more games. It's already nominated, so we're already going to make a lot more copies of this. But um, but yeah, it's uh, we hope it wins, and it's. Um, and it's nominated for the Spiel des Jahres. And it's very cool. It's a awesome. nice party game. Yeah, glad to hear that your partnership is helping these games get yeah. into the hands of so many people and families out there and uh, getting the proper recognition for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're very happy. Um, uh, these Obviously, the, this is more of a, a, a simpler product to make yeah. on the manufacturing side, but uh, it's also just very good to be working with all of these talented companies that are that are making fun for people. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Daniel, for yeah. sharing. Do you have any last word you'd like to say? Yeah, if you need any help, you can reach me. Uh, I'm uh, daniel.zias at longpack.com. And then when you when you put this on there, you put like the little the little bottom third. Yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> um, and then uh, I'm also on Facebook. You can always reach out to me. Please friend request me. I run a bunch of Facebook communities that will help you in some way or form. Yes, yes, Michael, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and thank you everybody. Thank thank you. Yeah. All right, that's Callie. This is Callie from <laughs> Origins Game Fair. Hi, I'm Callie. <laughs> no. That's Daniel. No. And we're at Origins Game Fair, live from Essen, yes. Germany. Live, <laughs> live from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs>